Dusty Baseball. I thought I cleaned that, but I didn't. BMW with the V Vision series tried to make an affordable speaker for people who want to buy BMW without BMW money. Sounds like a recipe for disaster and it sort of is. These are the V200, which are cheapest chips on, uh, on second-hand markets. They're pretty good. They're actually a really nice sounding speaker. The, you can tell that the, the cabinet has been designed to give a lot of oomph and that works well until it gets busy and then it just gets messy. The, the sort of rocky metal uh, track on this just became a bit muddy and the bass sort of smashing everything to bits. But other than that, these perform admirably. The low end is okay. The highs are pretty transparent for what I think is a very cheap plastic tweeter, plastic dome tweeter. The mids are really, um, really well defined actually. Um, also, where I'm sitting on the, on the floor, the stereo imaging is remarkable for a cheap speaker that's just plopped onto a cabinet like this. So I really don't dislike the V201, uh, the V200, sorry, did I say 201? Doesn't matter, V200, Vision 200. But there's also a V201, which is the bigger brother with the same speakers, and it's a mess. I will do a video on those soon, but it's the classical case of you build a speaker, you make the bigger one for the people who want more bass, and it just becomes a mess. This is a pretty good design. But, you know, cheap, but a pretty good design. The 201 is just this made bigger and it just doesn't match. Um, so if you want to get your cheap BMWs, these can, be, these can be had for 50 bucks or less. The V200 is not a bad choice. Yeah, you may want to spend a little more on a DM10 or a, or a, a DM110 or something like that, DM12 maybe. But if you want to keep it real cheap and you want pretty much the BMW sound, if a bit less refined, these are a good choice, but don't get the big one. The V200 though is a pretty good speaker for virtually no money. Um, they're also pretty forgiving. Any reasonable amplifier, you don't want to connect them to crap, but any reasonable amplifier works well. And even if you hang them sort of in the corners of your room because you need a second pair of speakers for your kitchen or whatever, or your garage, not too shabby. So I do recommend these for cheap speakers. Do I recommend them over the Wavdale Diamond 3 or the Mission 760i? No, but they... They are more forgiving when it comes to placement and amplification and emissions, and they are a bit bigger sounding than the Wardale. So you win some, you lose some. Nice little-ish speakers.